Hey everyone, it's Mark again, and welcome back to the Swamp and Stomp YouTube channel. Now, I don't know how many of you have ever watched the Meat Eater TV show, uh, but I'm a big fan, and in one of the episodes, uh, Steve Ranella actually collected a bunch of sea cucumbers and was raving about how delicious they were. And ever since he did that, I've been wondering for myself if they work. So today I was out on a scuba dive and I was looking for some lobsters. We didn't really find the lobsters, but I did find a real nice sea cucumber and I decided it was time that I give this a try. So as you can see here in Florida, these sea cucumbers are significantly larger than the ones that were being eaten on uh, Meat Eater, but I'm gonna try to prepare them in the exact same way that he did and we're gonna see if these are just as good as the ones he was talking about. Okay, so as they showed in the TV show, we're gonna cut both ends off. All right. And then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna slice it right through the middle. Now these things are a lot tougher than you might think. Here we go. God damn. There it goes. Oh. Alright, now we're gonna rinse all this stuff out of it. And what we're really interested in is these strips of meat on the inside. So, yeah, they are significantly smaller than they looked in his video. Oh, it's like shriveling up. You can definitely tell, like, it it feels like scallops do. Like, the, the texture of it's going to be much like a scallop. So, it's definitely not as easy as Steve made it look. That's all you get out of them. It's kind of lame. Okay, so I opened this thing up and I found the five strips that um, Steve Ranella harvested in his episode. And in this species, I expected them to be huge because they are huge, but they're actually really small. And all I got was this tiny little pile of meat right here. Um, but we're gonna give it a try. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate how little we actually got out of this giant creature. Um, I don't know if this is really worth doing. Because um, all the rest of this is just slimy, like, sticky stuff. It's really weird. Like, you can't even put your knife through it. It just stretches. Like, the knife won't even go through. And then it's like, it was secreting this, like, thick slime that doesn't actually stick to anything. It just stretches. So... It's definitely a weird critter, but uh, now we're gonna take these little bits of meat that we got, and we're gonna we're gonna put them in some flour and some spices, and then we're gonna deep fry them and see how they taste. And hopefully, we don't die. All right, so now we've got this thing cleaned up. This is all the meat that we got here. It's not very much, but uh, we're in the kitchen, and we're gonna prepare this thing exactly the same way that they did on the meat eater show. So real simple. We're just gonna dip it in some egg then into some flour, which has some spices in there, and we're gonna throw it into deep fryer uh, just for a few minutes, and then we're gonna see how it is. All right, let's do this.
All right, so we just finished frying up these little strips of sea cucumber, and it looks just like calamari. So I've got my buddy Rob here, and he's gonna help me try this out, and uh, we'll let you know what we think of it. So let's do it. It's not bad. So they're pretty good. It's just like calamari. Yeah, it's a little bit chewier, chewier than calamari. Yeah. It's salty, but it's pretty good. Yeah, Here, you want a piece? Now we just gotta find a species that lives around here that actually has more meat on it, because this was a lot of work for not very much meat. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's good. It's not like juicy, but it's good. It tastes kind of like know? a mix between scallop and calamari. Like a leaner calamari, like not as rubbery as yeah, that. Yeah, like pretty good. It's sure. chewier. Mm hmm. I don't know, I like it. That's yeah, good. I can mess with it. Mm hmm. Yeah, you definitely need more than two. Yeah. Yeah, you only get to have two of these per person here in Florida. So you're not going to get a full meal out of these. But if we find another species, we're going to try it again, see if we can get some more meat off of them. So. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for uh, checking into Swamp and Stomp, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.